Grandpa Newby here reporting for duty. Today we're going to take the Vail 46, the OG SMG from Modern Warfare 2, and give it a test flight in Modern Warfare 3 to see how it does. So here's the configuration that I used. I'll let you take a look at that really quickly. Before we strap in, start engines and push the throttles forward, let's have a look at the numbers and compare the Vell 46 on the right to the Rival 9 on the left. These are for bare bones versions of the weapons. And you can see right away that the Vell 46 has a better fire rate and bullet velocity and the effective damage range is exactly the same. Also, it has more effective headshot damage and about the same upper torso damage. So we can start to see right there where the Vell 46 will have its advantage at the effective damage range, hitting the head, hitting the upper torso. So let's have a look at performance. The aim down sight speed is kind of slow, but very close to the Rival 9. Reload quickness, I gave that to the Rival 9, but actually the Vell 46 wins that one out. So there's a little mistake there and both empty and partially empty. Movement speed, about the same. The rest of it, close to the same. Now, if you look at kill metrics, you can get a four-shot headshot kill with a Vell 46 if you can hit those myth mythical four shots. And, but when you look at time to kill, the Vell 46 wins out everywhere in the effective damage range. The gun kick is where the uh, Vell 9 has a slight advantage, but when you take a look at the recoil, slight advantage for the Vell 46 horizontal, vertical is about the same. The hip fires are very close to each other. Enough talking, let's get into the field of honor and see what happens. But before we get too deeply into it, let me uh, address some surprising comments that I've seen, not many, but a few. Now, I play the lobbies I get. I do. And, well, let me just let you know. I've lived in four different continents, flown in numerous combat operations, trained foreign pilots. But most impressively, I think, in a single sitting, I downed 16 crystal hamburgers along with four chili cheese pups. I don't need to... <laughs> I don't need to boost, reverse boost, stand on my head, seed the lobbies to make you think that whatever gameplay, good or bad, you see from me is not honest gameplay. <laughs> I can't believe people would say I use a Cronus. Come on. Does this look like I'm using a Cronus? Anyway, so... We go into the El Mercado for the first free-for-all with the Vell 46. I tried to keep it as close as possible, and I tried to shoot high, and we won't talk about that. Headshots are good with the Vell. If you can stay within 10.2 meters, it's a killing machine. As per normal... I got myself in a hole at the beginning of the free-for-all. I guess I need some reason to try to work myself out. So anyway, oh, there's wondering if that guy is still there. And he's been gacked. I think he was going back to there. And, ouch, sorry. There's somebody aimed down sight. Unfortunately, they just fired their round before... Grandpa Newbie put his cherubic face and, yeah, okay, we won't talk about that either. I prefer people shooting people in the back. Now, the one thing that I did notice about this weapon is that I configured it to control recoil and gun kick, and it was just a dot. It was a laser. Whoop. And the other thing I really liked about it, and I have the big magazine in it, was how quickly it changed out. I've been testing all the OG SMGs. I've got a few more to go here. And the Val 46 just felt good. The, the magazine changes, like I said, very quickly. It's a laser dot. 
if you get the first round in, you're probably going to win the engagement. Of course, that's the same for every weapon. Now, the other thing I'll say off topic is that some people talk about my bad aim, and I'm happy to wear that T-shirt. Grandpa newbie, the bad aimer. But for this, for, for this particular series, these two free-for-alls that I played, where that guy behind the wall? I thought I could shoot through the wall. There he is. For these two free-for-alls that I played, I had accidentally left my horizontal aim at 14, which is set for sniping. That was the Snickers win. 30 kills. All right, one more that I played, and this was a bloodbath. Instead of cha stash house, they should call it charnel house, a place where there are a lot of dead bodies stacked up because I saw them everywhere. Like, I felt like the ghost whisperer running around here. Ooh. That was King Kong's $80 glove. Somebody said it cost $80 to get that glove. All right. There's Austin Powers. I'm going to show him every time that guy with the R RPG stuck a grenade in my ear. I mean, it happened so much, I, I felt I was reloading the thing for him. There's somebody in the typical corner there, or stash house. And you can see, well, I won't use that excuse, the 14, but but really I had a lot of uh, a lot of side to side, a, a lot of horizontal. Oh, there I am again. There's Austin. Just ate another RPG. The aim down sight speed isn't great. There's another one. But the aim movement speed is very good with the Val. You can bounce yourself off the off the walls with it. Oop. So anyway, I managed to to get a lead here and then get gacked by the farm own the farm acreage there there's the big glove the eighty dollar king kong glove there i am again eating an rpg along with king kong there where is this guy i felt almost honored to be killed with an eighty dollar glove i mean who's got eighty dollars to spend on a skin Oh, that was me, I think. Or actually, the guy got us both. Might have been a, uh, a proximity mine there. I might have Austin my powers too quickly. So I managed to go from ahead to behind, looking like, I can, like I'm going to grasp defeat from the jaws of victory. There I get bopped in the head with that gold $80 glove. God. <laughs> Towards the end of free-for-all and, and at the beginning. Those are the times where Grandpa Newbie gets gacked the most. There's the glove. The glove. The glove is after me. Managed to gack the glove. What is that guy doing? He must have been stunned. There's the glove. Boom. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I got him back. I should have picked that glove up. That thing went flying. Maybe I could have punched him with it. And there's another Snickers win. So satisfying. So anyway, hey, thanks. Thanks for listening to me ramble. And uh, thanks for all your good suggestions on my gameplay. Please subscribe. Peace.